My name is Sanjay Gupta, I'm a cardiologist in York. Today's video is on the Romheld syndrome. This video is entitled Romheld syndrome when your gut affects your heart. So that today I want to talk to you about a condition that many people have never heard of and yet thousands silently live with its effects. It is called Romheld syndrome, also known as the gastrocardiac syndrome. It sounds complicated, but at its heart, pardon the pun, it's a condition where problems in your gut cause symptoms that feel like they're coming from your heart. So what is Romheld syndrome? In simple terms, gas or bloating in the upper part of the stomach or intestines can put pressure on the diaphragm, that thin muscle that separates your chest from your abdomen and just above the diaphragm sits the heart. So when that pressure builds, for example, after eating a heavy meal or during episodes of indigestion or reflux, it can irritate the vagus nerve, leading to palpitations, causing ectopic heartbeats, or even trigger episodes of chest discomfort, breathlessness, or dizziness. It feels cardiac, but it starts in the stomach. So many people with Rome Health Syndrome will report symptoms like skip beats or irregular heartbeats, a feeling of pressure in the chest, lightheadedness or fluttering in the throat, or sudden anxiety-like sensations after eating. And naturally, this leads them to worry. Is this my heart? And understandably, they end up undergoing ECGs, heart scans, even stress tests, often all normal. But here's the twist. The problem isn't with the heart muscle. It's with the gut affecting the autonomic nervous system, particularly the vagus nerve, which connects the brain, heart, lungs and gut. So what triggers it? Well, common triggers include bloating or gas after eating or due to conditions like IBS or SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, gastroesophageal reflux, carbonated drinks, lying flat after meals, constipation, and, la and large or fatty meals. Even posture matters, bending forward after a heavy meal can pressurize the diaphragm. What helps? The key to managing Rome Health Syndrome is gut health and prevention. So you want to eat small, lighter meals, especially in the evening. Avoid lying flat right after eating. Manage reflux with diet, positioning, or medication if needed. Reduce gas-forming foods, especially if IBS or SIBO is suspected. Breathing exercises to activate the parasympathetic system and reduce vagal overactivity. In some cases, a trial of prokinetics, digestive enzymes, or magnesium may help. Rome Health Syndrome reminds us that the body is deeply connected. The heart doesn't always act on its own. It's part of a vast interconnected network. And sometimes the root of cardiac-like symptoms may lie just beneath in the gut. So if you or someone you know experiences heart symptoms that appear to, that seem to appear after meals or fluctuate with bloating and reflux, it is worth considering this possibility and speaking to a doctor who understands this connection. I think it's really important to say that it's important to go through all the heart tests, etc. First, you don't want to diagnose Rome Hull syndrome as the first diagnosis. You say if you get pressure in your chest, absolutely, you must go and see a doctor and get that investigated for its own accord. But if all your tests come back and they look okay, but you're still getting these symptoms which are triggered by a bloated stomach, then think of the Rome Health Syndrome. I hope this is useful. As always, thank you for listening and take good care of your heart, your gut and your nervous system because they all talk to each other. All the best.